Come on, just hold out a little bit longer. Four turns to gunpowder. My long count bonus. Um, so, we can't scientist, we can't engineer. We could merchant, which would give us a lot of money, as well as a relationship boost. We could also just build a, what is it called, a customs house or whatever. We could get another great profit, because I think we can improve our religion one more time, or we could use it to spread the shit out of our religion. I don't think I'm going to go for a general. We're not that far to another one. I'd like some comments. Uh, do cities grow bigger at slower speeds? Uh, grow bigger at slower speeds? Or do you mean grow slower at bigger speeds? I don't know what you mean. Like slower game speeds? No, it's about the same. Great Admiral could get a luxury. Oh, I see what you're saying. We can't do a scientist or an engineer. Because we, we, that would be a double up. I can see the, the argument for a profit. I mean, I can see the argument for several different things. Improve religion. Okay, a couple of calls for for the profit. Let's do it. Boom. Can another great engineer. Shut up. Uh, oh, I can't improve the religion again. Right. Derp, this isn't Civ 5. In Civ 5, you can use the Apostles more than one to improve your religion. We can't improve our religion again unless we complete the branch. That's okay, though. We'll use it for some spread. It's going to be fine. I think this auto-converts all citizens in a city. So this is going to be... No. I'm not sure. Might be con getting confused between games. So we're going to get a cord over here. Or I could go right to the front. Maybe I'll go straight to the front with the Prophet. Wherever the hell he went. There he is. Go to blame the alien. It's going to be fine. Uh, Just flip London. Right, because Great Prophets don't decay in enemy territory if you don't have open borders. I think they still do. I don't remember. Crap! It's been so long since we've played this game. Maybe one of you guys remember. No, musicians don't steal tiles. They just basically use them for great works or for like a boost of culture or whatever, right? Oh, we never improved that tile. No decay, okay. Only missionaries decay. That's great. So yes, I totally agree then. Converting London would be very handy. Then you use their faith to build some buildings that we'll then capture later on. It's nice that they're not expanding. This is like so not Civ 6 where there'd be like spamming shit nonstop. I mean, we could build a holy site somewhere, which is pretty good and can be improved pretty strongly, but I think I'm going to be quite happy with doing a little bit of conversion stuff there. Um, lumber milling this actually makes a ton of sense. Let's definitely do that. I think we're just going to market and mint over here. And I think the Colosseum is fine. I would still like to build the the whatever the national wonder that you get with Colosseums. Gunpowder Renaissance. Um, England's got two spies now, so they can catch up on tech a fair bit, and or defend with it. Um, armory into build more military, I think, is the key there. We do need tech, but I think the workshop investment makes a lot of sense here. Wow, its production rates suck. Um, we, I'm tempted to actually buy this tile so that we can give it a mine. It's got that, it's got that. Yeah, okay, it's not the worst. I really am quite tempted to just buy the hill a little faster. Um, guilds in four turns. Let's start going for some trading post. Although, here, the university's quite far away. I'm wondering if we get rid of the citadel. There you go, ninja's rule. And it still has positive pressure, so the, the number of people will grow. I don't suppose any city-state has a mission to convert them. Antonana Banana Revo. Oh, they want faith growth, which we're currently leading. That's good. No, so I think I'm going to go and convert Blame the Alien. That way I can buy some more Guerdos and, and whatnot. How many wars has Quill had so far? Three. 
Three. Two against England, one against the Zulus. All started by me. I know, it's unusual. Yeah, um... Oh, yeah, I gotta wait a little bit longer. Found a demographic mod in Civ 6. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, I purchased another missionary, which isn't actually what I was looking for. Uh, remind me later. Well, actually, it's not so bad. Circus Maximus. We are missing one and blame the alien. That's not too bad. Um, I don't think we're going to build the castle. I don't think it's worthwhile enough. Um, build me a couple of muskets. The other thing we could do is pre-build a couple of trebuchets and save up some gold and upgrade them to cannons. Speaking of muskets, though, you are... Okay. I was highlighting the fact that you need iron to upgrade, and I was like, wait, but it's a swordman. Um, that's a fair bit... It's probably worthwhile. Ish. I don't know. Short term. Ah! Himeji Castle! One turn after I said I don't want to build it. How's our spy doing? 18 turns. Okay, that's not too shabby. Majority religion. Uh, so we need another 100 gold to convert them. That's not too bad. I want you to be flipped now. Mutual Not embassies? Cool, sure, of course we'll be friends, Zulus. At least for now. The merchants and the traders have come. Their profits are preordained. <laughs> Machu Picchu would be nice, but I don't think that's in the cards for us. Um, so you must be getting... Yeah, 16 pressure. There we go. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, we'll, we'll put in a little bit of work on Hong Kong. If we can. They got a lot of units kicking around. Try to get in there. Protestantism. Mmm. We have to send some trade routes out. Um, I disagree with the idea of building trade posts over here. There's just not enough food to work those tiles. Um, we need, we still need money. So go ahead and run to Hong Kong. That's going to be okay. And I guess you're going to just sit here and wait a turn. Until one of these units move. They do shuffle around, so we should be able to get in there. There we go. Uh, you became religious automatically. Nice. And you're going to try to encourage Hong Kong. It's only got five, and there's more pressure for the other one, but we've got a bit of a lead. So we'll probably be able to get them to stay there. Uh, we'll probably have to invest in some more missionaries later. did England used to have a religion? I don't think so. So we got about 35 minutes left. You want two luxuries for seven. I realize you don't like me particularly much. Ha. One ha. for four? No. So you do one for three or two for seven. Ha. More money is more better, but this would help him out a fair bit with the happiness. I think... I'm generally in, 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 okay with taking trades that aren't 100% favorable for me, but I think since he, especially since he's my neighbor... And we're probably going to be at odds soon. What I should do is check something like he you. Sitani. No, you don't want any of my stuff. Even like London, like I'm less threatened by them, so... No. Hmm. Right, you finished a musket. Um, I probably want to build one more. I think I would feel good with four muskets on the front line. So let's build one more. That's probably overkill, but it gives us some backup in case we lose a few here or there. Uh, money situation, I don't think we're going to be able to do the instant upgrade to trebuchets, and I don't think building them here makes much sense. 
Um, could build Machu Picchu over here for a lot of money and faith. And it is something harder for the AI to build because you do need actual mountains. If it fails, we get a bunch of money. We can use it to upgrade units. It's not like I'm going to invest a freaking, freaking great engineer to do it. No, that would be crazy. Why would you do something like that? That would be lunacy. I'm not bitter. Um, we're going to throw some cover on here. Not salty at all. You're right. Not salty at all. <sighs> Antonano Renano Revo wants a road. It's quite a long road, but... Now, now all of a sudden I've got the freaking title song from Enterprise TV show. It's been a long road getting from there to here. Ugh. <laughs> like, I remember the first time I heard them, like, this can't possibly be your title tune. I'm not saying it's, like, a bad tune, but, like, every Star Trek show ever has had this, like, sweeping orchestral score. It's been great. And then all of a sudden, What? Okay, so we've got the armory over here, um, but we can't build crossbows yet. We can't build cannons yet. Um, so I think we can just get away with building something else, like getting a market up in here or another trade route, but I think the market's going to be okay. You can build me another cargo ship. How's that? Only at 80% pure cocoa bitter, not 90% bitter. <laughs> That's right, we don't get salty. We just get, like, bitter chocolatey. So I need a lot more money to upgrade my existing bowmen. I think I'll probably build a couple of crossbows. Um, but yeah, we're going to go after chemistry over here. Although, it would be really nice to meet people on the other continent. Now... If we're going to do anything, it might be a play against London. Just take them out of the picture once and for all. And that would be kind of nice. Um, no, get more food. We need a workboat over here, too. Enemy denunciation of use expired. It's amazing. Okay, we face purchased another building. You're going to fortify up over there. I mean, they're going to have a big range advantage on us. The question is... Oh, very well. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're still at war. The <laughs> England and Zulus are still at war. That's so funny. Hey, we got a great uh, um, merchant. So, we could build a train improvement, but I think the trade mission makes the most sense, and I think if we're going to do it, we're going to do it Hong Kong. Because our alliance is starting to decay. They want a great artist. We're not really looking to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I have 100 gold. I could upgrade one of these guys. Maybe the merchant one to the musket. And I think that's probably a fine idea. Because then I can move you back onto the forest. Shaka just entered the Renaissance era. They might have gone gunpowder. They might have gone something else. Um, you're in an annoying position. you just like occupying the forest just to annoy me. I'm going to step back so I can't get bombarded by the city anyway. And of course you're going to stand in an awkward position. I don't remember if I have to be adjacent to the city. I think I just have to be in their territory. I think I'll still have moves left regardless though. There we go. Trade mission. Plus 30 relationship. 900 gold. Excellent. I am going to upgrade you. I realize you don't have much in the way of promotion. That's okay. Uh, you have the most promotions there. Go to cross. I think we can probably just upgrade everything, though. I should have checked my uh, my soldier count before and after. Actually, I don't know if the soldier count upgrade updates in real time. So 50,000. Hit next turn. It's mostly based on, I think it's based on melee strength calculations, so it doesn't give you as much credit for the ranged. 
62,000. There we go. Zulus still have more. They have twice as much, but twice as much I feel I can deal with. Oh, we did just build the uh, the musket as well, so it might have just calculated some of that. Um, I don't think it's worth building triremes or trebuchets, since I spent the money that for the cannon insta upgrade, that's okay. We are going to build a workboat, because we actually need that spot right over there. Um, trade units are all in place. I'm not planning any expansion stuff. I don't think we need any more gunners, so we can spend a turn doing something else, like, let's say, get a mint for a little bit of extra cash. That's going to be fine. You're definitely going to go drill. Drill into cover, I think, is okay. We still have our one medic unit, so I'm quite pleased with that. And while I do have to be worried about this, I, I, like, I'm wondering, would life just be easier if we just finished off England and then focused everything over here? I mean, London's a great city. I'd love to add it. The problem is, like, it's kind of a pain in the ass to siege. I don't know, not that pain in the assy. Um, if we're going to do anything, we're going to have our medic near the front. You are going to go and try to stand over there. Move your way up here. Yeah, we'll probably replace the citadel soon. Um, so I'm thinking internal trade route for now. Uh, Cord could use some religious pressure. Uh, we don't have a ton of food, of happiness, so I'm actually thinking maybe not food for now. We'll just do the production. Internal trade route, a little bit more pressure. Da -da 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 yeah, I'm not, uh, no, we're not declaring war now. I'm not specifically doing infinite city sprawl, but our cities are pretty clustered, but we didn't have much of an option over here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Tobias, thank you very much! Fun fact, people who have diarrhea don't have their shit together. You heard it here first. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that before. I feel like it's probably like a really oldie, but I don't know if I'm like familiar with it. Amphitheater would be good, Caravan would be good, but I'm going to get an Artist Guild finally going so we can eventually get one. Probably please some city-states at some point. Um, get over here. And go with the farm, that's going to be fine. Yeah, we're going to slowly scooch around here. Saying I'm uncultured. Alright. Very well. Trading post. Wow, that's a whole lot of shit. But they've been at war for a while, so they're like, we need to build units because we're way behind the army of the guy we're at war with. Wow, are we ever not declaring right now? You fortify there. Hmm. Although, we do have the muskets. We don't have a ton of them, but we do have them. I want to go clear that marsh. Shiz. I mean, if we first strike, we've got an edge there. So we can blow up some of this stuff, but... How can you afford this? This, the AI doesn't pay maintenance for their units, right? There's Machu Picchu. Aw, so we didn't get it, but that's okay. You know any military buildings or anything like that? I'm going to get you to build a mint and then probably an amphitheater after that. That's done. Man, good campus location right there, huh? Give England open borders so you send them at Shaka. That's an excellent oh, idea. Oh, it's you. You were saying? Um, I think we need mutual embassies. Good. And then I would but like to I sell must. you open borders. Of course not. Of course not. All right, I'm just gonna offer you open borders then. Here you go. Of course not. Of course not. Yes. Now, if I declare war, does it tick the uh, units out of my territory? That would be something. Uh, keep going to Hong Kong. More religious pressure, more money. How are we doing here? 
Well, it's pretty darn close. We'll probably still have to go and send some missionaries over there. Um, get an amphitheater. Although the forge wouldn't be terrible. Hey, Captain Tanguin! Whenever I hear Faith of the Heart, the Enterprise theme, I'm reminded that it was a Rod Stewart song originally written for the film Patch Adams. Still better than the final episode of the show, though. You know what was good, like, about the final episode? I'd been warned so hard that the final episode of Enterprise was so bad that I went in with pretty low expectations. I also treated the um, penultimate episode, the episode before the final episode, as the real final episode, and I was very satisfied with that. And then, all of a sudden, the final episode of the show just sort of became, like, a fun little side story, like, whatever, that didn't bother me so much. So, luckily, I had been sufficiently warned that it was terrible, that I was therefore able to get some amount of enjoyment out of it. Hmm. Um... It's not a ton of extra production. Wouldn't be bad, but I think we get more amphitheaters up and running. We're going to get our first uh, Renaissance policy in eight turns. That's going to be fine. Build, buying some more religious buildings. There you go. She's streaming through here now. Um, and so in that case, I probably want to pull a unit back to make sure that my citadel is occupied. More amphitheater. Yeah, it'll be an interesting question to see exactly what goes on with these guys. After this, what can we do to upgrade our crossbows? If that's something we want to look into. Shotgun's plotting. Uh, my agent's recruited. Ah, tech! Tech, tech, tech. Uh, I guess we're going to go for compass, because it's the most expensive one. And actually, it would be great to go and uh, get them. Um, starts with the sea. It's the ship that you can go and go across the ocean with. Caravel! be great to get some caravels. Um, oh yeah, first of all, blame the alien. Before I forget, what I want you to build are some mother freaking walls. Thanks. I don't think Cord needs it. So Cord can probably just go and build whatever. It'd be pretty fast with the walls, actually, and it might help. You know, we might actually want to do kind of a defensive -y thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Where are the wars, Quill? Well, there have been three. There were two in these this freaking stream. I mean, can't war all the time. But maybe. I'm thinking I'm going to build a fort here. I think that would actually be an excellent idea. I'm going to override this farm and build a fort. And maybe move the musket into there. I mean, I think it's about the same as, as the forest, but then we can, you know, multiple sort of defensive kind of thing. Sistine Chapel, okay. Circus Maximus. Alright, let's do that before we go and accidentally claim another city first. Plus, we want to make sure we've got enough happiness to sustain the war. Just, you know what, just go be automated. I don't care. That's a lot of shit over here. And since I'm not declaring war right now, anyway. Now, they might be trying to get to England, which is kind of funny. That might be why there's so much garbage here. Chemistry! Okay. So, you've got to start on cannon right away. Choose research. What's the next step? Again, it would be nice to unlock Caravel. Also, oh, that unlocks the observatory, which is not quite the same in here as in previous versions. Um, yeah, Gatling gun, range one version of all that. Uh, it's a little far away for us to really consider anything there. It probably is worth popping out a couple of caravels. And other than that, I'm not sure. Well, let's do astronomy first, because I think that's okay. Both the science gain and the caravel stuff. Um, you know, that is something that I keep forgetting about. In Civ 6, you can say things like, Hey, Eiko. would you like to declare war on the Zulus? For three gold per turn? Ended. Have fun, bro! We may join up very soon. Excellent, let's unlock rationalism. Hooray! So we earn great scientists faster, we can build a porcelain tower, although I think someone already did, but then we can get more of those in there. 